Does penis size matter? The bigger it is, it's fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. Let's just say we like a normal size <laughs> penis. Well, what's normal for Annie? Or length or girth? No. Girth! girth. <laughs> hey, girth, girth fucked me over one time. I hate talking about that. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm sweating. All right, guys, before we start this video, I want to give a quick shout out to Native for sponsoring this video. I was able to pick out some amazing scents, so I chose coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, and eucalyptus and mint. And I gotta say, all of these are 10 out of 10 amazing scents, which is why I chose them. But one of the reasons why I chose Native is because they're cruelty-free and vegan. You gotta love that. I also love Native because every single day I use it, it keeps me feeling fresh 24-7 all day. Even after I exercise and you know your boy works out every single day for the most part, or at least I try. Native is not sticky and it dries quickly, which means it's great for when you're on the go and you know your boy's on the go trying to make these videos for you guys all the time. One of the best things about them is the smell. I mean, this coconut and vanilla just smells like a vacation. So good. And then the lavender rose, it just smells like heaven. And the eucalyptus cement, which is my favorite, is just, uh, I wanna smell like this all the time. These are all a wide range of scents that are simple and effective. Also be sure to check out Native's new limited edition cupcake inspired collection with Baked by Melissa, created to make your everyday a little sweeter. Simple, effective, limited edition scents that change all the time. Native also offers a plastic free version of their deodorant using the same formula, but with more sustainable packaging. Native also has more to offer. They also do amazing body washes and toothpaste. So make sure to check them out. Normally three deodorants would be $39, but if you use my link and code Alvarezy, you'll get them for $25. That's over 33% off, amazing. With my code, you could also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Once again, thank you to Native for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to this amazing video that I made for you guys and I hope you like it. So give it a thumbs up and a like and comment. Okay, I love you. Are you guys wait, ready? Wait, oh, yeah. yeah. Should it be okay to check your significant other's phone? One, two, three. Uh, is this disagree? God bless. Wait, oh, hold, hey, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Disagree. Wait, Strongly wait, 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 disagree. Wait. Okay. I mean, hold on. I don't know. Because I mean, like, what does it depend on this? It's funny. Just go and then you can, and then you, and, <laughs> and then, then you explain. say, like, oh, sorry. I'm no, not you're there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. I'm by myself over here, too. I'm walking sweating. Well, it's funny because I never. You start. Sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. Have an open discussion. Go ahead. You. Go. Why do you agree? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Speak. <laughs> Never checked a phone, but sure. In a pr previous relationship, like a long time ago, I did, and it, I'm thankful that I did because, like, I had this really bad feeling, and I checked it, and no, yeah. I, I will, I will I was agree. Yeah. The same thing. Same, I was in the same situation. I had my intuition. I was like, I should check the phone. Check the phone. He was cheating, but do I think in every scenario, right? It's a good idea? I would know. Right, but yeah. like agree to yes. like a situation. So like I was gonna specifically say yeah. that situation, and it was a really, really bad one. It wasn't just like a cheating thing, it was like a whole thing. So like I felt the need to check, so I checked, but like in general, I I mean, don't I think if you wanna go through your significant other's phone for whatever reason, I think it's just worth maybe bringing up to them first, if anything, like being like, hey, yeah, I can say, I look, don't like, just, like, like ask them or it. like, if you're like suspicious of something, talk to them about it. Um, but yeah, I don't, personally, I would not yeah, no. like go straight to that. It, it never it? leads to anything good. Oh, she's like, no way. Um, yeah, I've done it. And <laughs> I feel like if you're looking for something, you're gonna find it. And anything that is supposed to come to light will eventually come to light. I don't think you need to go through the phone. Even though I've done it plenty of times. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I still don't think it, uh, it should be okay. If, yeah, it, like what Franny said, if you are doubtful, maybe bring it up to your yeah. partner. And I was gonna say, for me, it's like, I wouldn't want someone to do that to me, so I shouldn't be doing that to them. Yeah, yeah same. And not, it's not that I'm hiding anything, but right. it's like, it's, it's my yeah. personal yeah. phone. Yeah. Personal thing. Conversations you have with your girlfriend, why does that matter to someone? Yeah. 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 Not like I'm doing anything bad, but what if I'm talking to like, 
Chelsea about something that's like a girl thing that I don't want my significant other knowing about. Or like, what if it's like a Christmas present, you know? Yeah. That's what was going through my head. I would say somewhat disagree because of like what Ayla said or like what we've all talked about. It's like circumstantial. Yeah. Like, I don't think you should, but if your intuition says something, yes, you should bring it up, but usually like, mm. Yeah. Like Chelsea said, you're gonna find what you don't want to find. Even if it's like they're talking to their friends and they say something funny, you're gonna read it the wrong way. Like there's no point in going through their phone. Like even with, you know, if I'm dating someone now, like I, I don't even like to see if a text comes up, I look away. Like I don't even want to know, like it's, it's fine. But I feel like if the, you're asking them something and they're continuously lying and lying and lying and you feel the need that like, okay, I'm in a situation right now where I think I need to know, then maybe you like, I mean, like what I did and I, I needed to know. Like he could just continued to keep lying, so. Also, you could say Keen because Keen referred to you as his girlfriend. <laughs> Wait, what? Keen said you were his girlfriend in the other video. This is a previous relationship before Keen. Oh, I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my God, David. You're I'm so what annoying. You're that, made me, that made me throw you up a little. Instigator. I've never had to check Keen's phone, ever, ever, ever. It was someone else, ever. Okay, yeah, yeah. Does anybody want to change their answer? I asked the guys this question, so it'll be funny to see your guys' perspective. Should a guy pay on the first date? <laughs> oh, come on! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! I'll go here. I'm Just go. the first hey, one, here. okay? I'm here. <clears throat> Dude! I think I'm gonna stand over here. This no. is where I'm at. It's like one of those things where I... I don't know, I feel like sometimes if you're the one to initiate the That's date, what I was gonna say. Yeah. it's like, I feel like you should be the oh, one absolutely. to pay for it. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Or like split the check. Or split, or the, split check. the check, But yes. yeah, I'm like. But the first one? If, what if you asked him? What if you asked him? Wasn't, but, I, okay, I, I've never done that, also, so I guess I don't Also, it needs to be like, I feel like clarified that it's a date, because what if you like, you're like, let's hang out and get like a dinner. Yeah. And then you get there and you're like, I don't know if this is well, a date Well, no, yeah, I think, I think like if I literally like, told a guy I was like, hey, like, I was wondering if you'd want to go out, like, out tonight on like a date or something. I would probably pay for the drinks or something. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, agree, I agree, but I've also never been in that situation yeah, where I've, I've initiated the date. I've never Wait, y'all are still on neutral? So, like, I've never you guys gotta go over I've never been, <laughs> been, well, but I don't, think the, I don't think the guy has to pay always on the first date. No, yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. so. I, I, would, think I would like it to so happen. Yeah, I, if you ask me on a date, I would like it to I happen. I want you to pay. If you ask me on a date, I'm, I'm gonna go over here. Oh. Franny's no. about to get some calls. No way. <laughs> the way you just moved to that <laughs> one. I'm just saying, for all the days. I just this. don't think the guy Some always has to pay on the first like, date. I'm in a Franny. Yeah, always? No, I don't think always. No, I don't think always. It just depends on the situation. This is all circumstantial. I've never asked a guy every, on a date, Every question so. you ask is circumstantial. I know. <laughs> but I'm just thinking, like, if. If we're just like, hey, let's go out tonight, and it's kind of a mutual understanding, I wouldn't mind splitting the check. Exactly. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree like, with that. Yeah. Or, or like get the drinks pay. later or yeah. something yeah. after yeah. the like dinner. Like popcorn, you pay for popcorn, he pays for movie. I'll get the app, you get the main course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Well, no, that's also thing. like I've gone out and like he got dinner and I bought the drinks. So yeah. it's Same. like, you know. Yeah. Emery, you've never done the app and dinner thing. No, I've like split half and half. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> I'll get the app, you guys. The appetizer is four dollars. It's like Brussels sprouts is four bucks. And I'm like, I got the app, don't worry. Do you guys ever like fake reach? Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Fake reach? What? Like you reach oh, yeah. that. I, I'll like pretend to look through my purse. Yeah, I'll be like, I got it, you know? <laughs> she said, yeah. I'll, like, if I like, no, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, Oh yeah, hold on. And then I'll like look and then he'll like pay. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. I think like if it's a situation, I'm like that. If it's like, I don't know if he's gonna pay. Cause yeah. it, it like wasn't he asked. It was kind of like a mutual let's hang out thing. But if he was like, oh, I want to take you on a date, take you to dinner, I'm not reaching. I mean, I feel Same. like me and Crawford still play that game. Like sometimes he'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I got you just like, don't know. Slow, and I'll be like, you don't know. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? Here, take it. We, we still play that game to this day. Yeah. What about you, Tara? Are you and Jake, you still do the reach? Um, sometimes he forgets his wallet. <laughs> um, <laughs> for the most part, I think we don't split it. It's just like, okay, you get one dinner, I'll get the next. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's type like, thing uh, when you date for yeah, so long. Switch off, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that is literally the best. I don't think I've ever split. It's always like, I mean, I can get dinners all the time. I, I, I actually like to like, I think after the first date, like it's equal. Like I've I'll only pay for done dinner, like you pay for dinner. Like dinner was like easy. expensive or something. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm like, okay, yeah. we'll both pay. Yeah. 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 It gets yeah. expensive. Yeah. But yeah. other than that, it's like, yeah, you take that one, I'll, I'll take, take this one. one. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like if it's like a first date, the reason I stayed here is because I get really like nervous ordering something that's a little more expensive if I want it. So I'm like, oh, I'll pay. It's okay. Cause I don't mm. want him thinking I'm like, 
Oh no, well, I never think that way. The menu because I want to be expensive. <laughs> I just yeah. feel like or you're doing like, it. ordering a, like, or the lots cheapest of thing. Yeah. I feel like I think of that like white chicks thing where she's like, perhaps not. Perhaps I'll take not. the sauerkraut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps the salad. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. not. Yeah. Does anybody want to change? Please move now. Yeah, I'm gonna go neutral, honestly. <laughs> oh. I don't Explain know. the change, Aunt Marie. Because the more they talked, the more it was like, oh, I guess I am like neutral because of like the circumstances of like if it's he asked me, like I I do expect him to pay. But if it was like, hey, let's hang out and we get there, I'm okay with splitting. I'm okay with paying for it. I guess it just depends. This one's pretty crazy. I'm scared. I think it's attractive when a guy posts selfies of himself. <laughs> Three, two, one. Um. I can't, selfies? I can't, I kind of neutral, it depends on the selfie. Pen, it really yeah. does. Cause it could be like a, like a weird mirror, mirror, mirror Are we talking pick, like, like shirtless like weird pick? selfie thing. Yeah, or is it just like a selfie? Are we talking selfie? story or feed? What are we talking? It depends on the person. I feel like sometimes yeah. if he, you can tell when a guy is a little too into himself yeah. and it's like not a, as attractive. Yeah. Um, but if it's just like a, Mirror selfie, like artsy. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of cool vibes, but mixed in with like other photos. Yeah. Like, like yeah. if your whole feed is himself, oh hell. Yeah, like, like, if you're <laughs> hand, I yeah. feel like if it's all his friends, it's like, why don't you just post are you not confident? Like you're confident. Right. Post also, one picture. Guys, like when I'm like when when we would be on like, like dating apps and stuff like that, and then you go to their profile, they don't have any selfies. I'm like, hello, like, which one are you? Yeah, yeah like Me the douchey, bit. the douchey like Weird, yeah, like, like topless yeah. or like shirtless. Yeah, and selfies are like, kind of. It's like, like that's the whole feed. Yeah. That's gross. I think a selfie or two in like a couple pictures yeah. of your friends is good. That's why like I agree because it's like, yeah, why not a couple selfies? Yeah. You, want, you want a guy that's confident. In yeah, 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 right. We, we like artsy, artsy men in this group. Artsy, yes, fartsy. Yeah. <laughs> I look around. And I'm like, wait, yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, whoa. whoa. That's whoa. insane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm like this. Yeah. Like, Tara, but you said you agree, but you're in the disagree, so what? What? Is that? I'm agree. <laughs> Sorry. I fucked up. That's okay. That's a, that's a mistake on me. I agree. I think selfies are nice sometimes. What about you, Neza? You're on the disagree. Because I feel like, again, it's like what we were saying. There's a specific kind of selfie that I think is a big turn off to girls. It's like the overconfident, you know, gym selfie. I'm like, are we still on that? That's like Instagram, like 2000. That's my space. 11, you know what I mean? So like, I don't know. I like more artsy, more chill, more, I don't know, like Like a friend, like a funny self. Yeah. Like, a, like I'm not taking this that serious. Exactly. Like, something wholesome. Yeah. Wholesome, thank you. That was the word I was trying to find, wholesome. Hi, right, does anybody feel like changing their answer? Move now. <laughs> Chelsea, why'd you decide to move? I think at the end of the day, I don't think I should base a selfie or I should base someone judge someone based on their selfies um anyone can do whatever the fuck they want <laughs> the more you I think about it I'm like oh. <laughs> I don't agree per se but I'm like neutral I would stand right here if I could between like <laughs> neutral and disagree make your own line baby you good <laughs> make your own line all right you guys are good I want you guys to be honest on this one. Face tuning my photos is a form of catfishing. Actually? <laughs> hey, look. The camera makes you look wide sometimes. But yeah. this is disagree? Come here. Yes. <laughs> Like a form of Oh wait, fishing? sorry, repeat like, the question? Like, do you ever take a photo and you're like, I know I don't look like that. Wait, can you repeat yes. the question? <laughs> Face tuning my photos is a form of catfishing. Oh, like it no, depends on how sorry. much. The way we face tune is, is not. I will say, I will say there are some girls that, that do overdo catfish. it yeah. and yeah. do not look like that. Yeah, at like all. if you just detail the eyes, smooth out the right. skin. What like, if you have a zit? I'm patching that shit. Saying. Yeah, exactly. Saying, yeah. Well, sometimes yeah. I'll take a photo like of my face, and for some reason my cheek wants to be over here, <laughs> and I'm like, I know that I don't look like that in real life. Yeah. But, but there are girls that will like make their waist like, like this, and you're like, yeah, that's, that's not yeah. bad. Yeah. You're telling me you guys don't do the waist too? No, guys, I don't. No. 
No. Do I use I'm Facetune? I yeah, on like certain things like detail and yeah. things like that. But like completely like changing my like Franny said, sometimes you take a photo and your face looks like your like cheek is all the way over something? here. It looks like morphed, yeah. or like the way the photo is took. It's like funky, but like. Uh, there's people who completely rearrange their face and their body. I think if that's like, catfish. Yeah, I think if you like completely you can change add makeup yourself. Now. You can like fully do a whole face of makeup and like yeah. just, face soon? Oh really? yeah. No, there's this other thing. Yeah, oh. I saw it on that's a TikTok. Crazy. It's like a before and after thing, and this girl's face is completely made up from a nap. I was like, oh my god. I think face tuning to that point is setting an unrealistic beauty standard that's not fair to people. Right. But it's okay to face tune a zit or like. A flake of skin out, you know yeah, what I'm or saying? Your hair. I or do your hair. hair all the time. Or if you want yeah. your eyes to look shiny, like you've cried. What? <laughs> We're all just trying to really like validate ourselves. Pretty goes, if you cried and you want to make your eyes look shiny, what? Or like when your butt looks way small and you're like, my butt looks way bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, me and you go, yeah. <laughs> all right. Does anybody want to change their answer? No. No. Okay. You guys, we all agreed. Wow. Okay. Does penis size matter? Oh my mm -mm. gosh. David? One, two, three. I'm kidding Does me. Does he disagree? <laughs> Only you. Uh, I'm serious. I don't know. It's, I don't know about strongly, because like micro is like, whew. Well, there you go. So this is in general. Disagree. I mean, I don't know. Mm. She said micro, so. Did you hear the I micro? Mean, said micro. Like, yeah. I'm going off of personal, my personal journey. Okay. <laughs> Neza! Oh my god! No, not now! Oh god, you guys. No, I agree with Ayla. Like, I think that would scare me. But also, at the end of the day, I think if you are into the person, you love the person, that's honestly, I think as us girls, that's the last thing you think about or care yeah. about. Yeah, and if it you know matter. what to do, you know what to do. Yeah. And if there's a connection, there's a yeah. connection. It doesn't matter yeah. what it looks like, how big it is, how Unless small it is. Unless it's like, really tiny. Sorry, then. <laughs> well, and yeah, like, like micro? crooked. Like, like micro, I don't, I don't, sorry. So oh micro. my god, no, that's so mean. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> David. She's panicking. She's don't panicking. get me in trouble. What'd you, what'd you say? <laughs> she goes, that's so she's mean, saying, David. Me over here, I'm like, I'm speaking on personal journey. <laughs> me too, but well, from the past. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I will say, the girls know that I've been with someone that I was like totally obsessed with. Mm -hmm. Size was not there at all, and I was still obsessed with him, and. I wanna hear this later, cause I don't know. No, oh. also, I've been with with, peep, with no. guys with really big ones, and it doesn't matter, like you're still a shitty person. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Dude, I'm like so anxious, I'm go. ripping yeah. my skin off it's of my fingers. It's not about the fingers. size of the wave, it's about the motion of the ocean, am I right? <laughs> all right, ladies. I hope I'm not contradicting myself. <laughs> also, it's like, it, yeah, like it doesn't fucking matter, cause if you're into them, you're like, I'm obsessed yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah, Whatever. Yeah. You well, figure it out. <laughs> Sub question, does it help? What? Help what? If they have a bonus, <laughs> like if they have a bigger one. Not yeah. for me. I Not think for it's, me. It's, it's, it's based on the person. Some Probably girls have <laughs> bit, like deeper <laughs> uteruses. <laughs> yeah, and some girls don't. Yeah, and so it just, uh, something this big like could be enough for <laughs> someone. So much. For a girl, I'm, you know? I'm gonna I can't, no, I, I can't, can't, like I can't, I just can't. I can't. I, I, I'll sorry. get into detail. No, I was gonna say, cause like sometimes, like I know some people, like the bigger it is, it's fucking uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with like, that. Like I, no. Let's just say we like a normal size <laughs> penis. Well, what's normal, Franny? <laughs> How many inches? I don't know! Draw it out! <laughs> I'm sweating, okay? I can't talk <laughs> about these so things. Like, no, I'm literally anyone else. I'm, I'm sweating <laughs> and it's cold in here. Have you guys ever heard of a uh, Marriage penis? What's that? What's that? What is that? Does it shrivel up? Well, it's like it's like it's like it's not too big, so like it bends it, over. What? <laughs> Granny. <laughs> You're done. I'm gonna You're done. throw up. You're done. Wait, no, I've, heard that, You're I've, done. I've heard people say that like Wait, what? it's not huge, so it's like average, so it's like marriage penis, like. Oh, I've never heard yeah, that. like it's average. That. It's like that's you want to marry. Okay, we. Like, because we're not. Because you, it's a good fit? Boyfriend dad. It's the motion <laughs> of the ocean that boyfriend matters. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, Remember, what? didn't someone say that? Someone was like, boyfriend dick? Like that's, oh, boyfriend dick. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's, that's oh, instead yeah. of saying marriage, we say boyfriend, boyfriend dick. dick. But again, it's like, if I think you're hot, I think you're hot. <laughs> like, I don't care. Okay, what's like a good size average? Just, just, I just want to know. <laughs> Isn't an average penis like five? 
five, six inches. So five and six is average? Yeah. I think that's like We're good, boys. Back. We're good. You're annoying. Sub, okay, sub question. <laughs> What's more important, length or girth? Girth. Girth, yeah. Girth. 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 God, that's such a gross word. I hate that I, word too. It is, huh? Uh, <laughs> Chelsea's like, with, girth. With? <laughs> no, girth. 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 Hey, girth. Girth fucked me over one time. I hate talking about this. <laughs> Can you imagine like a skinny? No, I've had a, a girthy mom, and it's not it. When it's like, if it was, okay, that isn't it. They can still it's hear like, us, guys. Like, okay, so shut up. Oh. What if it was like, <laughs> no, no, if it's too thin, <laughs> he could use all of this still. What? Because he has the mic. Oh. I know. It's too comfortable. It would bother me if my significant other liked provocative photos of someone else on Instagram. There's fucking fire feeling, <laughs> I feel it. Like, that was a real okay, thing. it depends on who it is. <laughs> yes. If it's someone he doesn't know personally, what's the point? What do you get from getting yeah. a like? Unless you want them to get to see you, that you liked it, you're trying to get their attention. I think for us, it's that situation is like, because we're in the social media space, right? So a lot of the time, someone that we don't know probably is going to see a verified account like their pics, right? So for me, I'm like, why are you liking, not that Crawford does this, but why would you like someone that you don't know's provocative, you know, especially if I don't look like that, you know, especially yes. like if I don't look like oh that, <laughs> if I don't look like that, then. Also, if it's like someone, like you said, it's like someone ran, like random, it's just like girls like on their feet or people the they point? used to know. It's like, why are you liking that? If it was like a celebrity, like Emily Ratajkowski, I'd be like, yeah, I'd fucking yeah. like that photo too. Yeah. yeah. But like, if it's a random girl, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Celebrities, I don't <laughs> care. Celebrities, They're un I like them too. You yeah. know what I mean? So, like, you're never gonna get them. So. Yeah, you're never gonna get them. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends if they know them personally. Or if they know them personally, it depends. But that's like, weird. if I they just, know them personally, they're friends. Yeah. That's fine. If, you know, but I just, I just think it's necessary. I don't know. Just look at it and move on. Yeah, I'm not liking guy like scrolling, going through right. naked guys. Like, right. yeah. for what? Sorry, I don't know. I want to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be looking at it if you're with someone. Well, a lot of times I scroll through and I'm just liking things. Okay, you can scroll. You shouldn't be looking I mean, at it. I mean, you can look at it. A lot of times I'll scroll through and I'll, I'll almost like something and I don't because I'm worried that Well, that's like she said, if they're yeah. like your friends and you're following them, it's different. It's like, should you be liking that? That's kind of weird if you're liking your friend's naked like pictures, that if it's like their asses and stuff. A lot of times it's like, oh, she looks good. She's been working out or, oh, that's a good picture of her. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, they're that's friends. Different. That's like what Chelsea was saying. Like if they're your that's, friends. You yeah. know them. If I don't really know them, if I like was on set with them for like 30 minutes, I met them and followed them and then, yeah. Tara and Ayla, you guys chose strongly disagree. Why? I just like don't look. Like I don't really think I'm. I mean, neither care. do I. Sorry, I don't. No, look no, either. no, no, no. Yeah, not saying that you guys like look or anything, but like I, I mean, I remember, <laughs> I remember when I first started dating Key, and he would like go and like purposely like photos, and he'd be like, "Do you just not care?" And I'm like, "No, I really don't," because I feel like if you didn't want to be with me, you just wouldn't. You'd be with that girl. So like, I don't really care whose photos you like, you know. You're clearly hanging out with me, so I don't know. I guess I don't really like like think about that. Also, I I only think of it as like if you're following people, they're clearly your friends. So if you're liking their photos, they're probably your friends. I guess I didn't really think about you know if he's like liking like a bunch of random girls and they're all naked like doing stuff. Like maybe if I noticed that, I'd be a little like, why are you doing that? But if I was gonna say, part, are they all friends that they're following? Because sometimes they're not friends. Yeah, and I, it's I just honestly, hot girls that they followed yeah. randomly. It, like, it yeah, just really so there's, depends. There's yeah. that. I, I don't know. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't be upset because it's like, oh, you're with me, so I should be fine. It's not even the thought that he's gonna break up with me because he's liking these photos. It's just like what the intentions behind it. Yeah. Like, I don't think he's gonna break up with me if he's like liking yeah. other girls' photos and that's not what I'm worried about. It's just, I don't know, it's like a respect thing. I feel like yeah. I would feel a little yeah. disrespected. Also vice versa, I would say like, would you feel, how would they feel if we were doing the same thing with like hot guys or like if they were our friends, it's like put yourself in our shoes, you yeah. wouldn't be comfortable Yeah, because I know some guys that are really sensitive that would be really upset if yeah. You know, if me or their girl would be liking other guys' yeah. photos. So 
if they were doing it, I knew that I know that it would be for the reason that they're scared I'm doing it. Yeah, Do you know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It depends on the intention. Yeah. Tara, you didn't. Well, what's up? Why did you choose your answer? It just wouldn't bug me. I feel like, for example, like just like she said, it's like if it's like your friend or their friend, they're just scrolling, liking photos, like, oh yeah, they worked out that day, good for them. Um, I know, like, from a personal experience, like my boyfriend, when he sees, like, one of his friends with, like, their butt out, he's like, that's a fart guzzler. That's not, like, a good ass I'd look at. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel <laughs> a like- fart guzzler? He said it before. He's like, that's, that's someone's that fart guzzler. I wasn't sure. <laughs> what is that? That's someone's fart guzzler. Like, whatever, it's just the butt. It's just the body, like, no. whatever. What I didn't think about is celebrities and are significant other standpoints where they are somewhat of status. So if another someone of status sees that, they could be like, what's their intention? If it was just some random bitch he's liking, like out of nowhere, I'd be like, what the hell? That's kind of weird, mm -hmm. especially yeah. if it was all the time. But I wouldn't think twice about it, honestly, unless it was like an avid thing he was doing, like always oh, liking naked girls pictures. Like I'd be like, why? I don't get it. But it's just not something that would stand out or bother me. My girlfriend follows all you guys. I follow you guys, and I tend to like all your guys' photos, but there'll be times, let's say, like, Ayla's over I here showing I knew you were gonna her... call me out, dude. I knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. A yeah, yeah. Ayla's ass is out I'm or something. Fucking, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's just your fart guzzler. No, but, but I, I choose <laughs> not to like it, even though I want to support you and get you as many likes as no, you want. No, and that's fine. I, like, appreciate that, because you're, like, honestly, you're like looking out for like what your girlfriend might, I, I don't know. So but yeah, but, but what if like, let's say one of your guys is significant others mm -hmm. or your significant other, if let's say one of theirs butts was out and you saw like, oh, Kian liked Anne Marie's ass. Would you I care? I really don't care. Would you care? I wouldn't care, no. That doesn't bother me. Cause like, if it's like a if it's close, like close friend, friend yeah, like, I'm like, hell yeah, support my girl, her ass friend? is out. A close friend is like different, yeah. We're all friends, that's yeah. the thing. That's like yeah. what we're yeah. saying. That would if never bother, if it was any of the girls in this room or even the, like the other girls that we know, like, that wouldn't bother me at all. If I'm it was like, like okay. random If girl, it's like just... LA bimbos. Yes. That we know are after our guys because that's all they do. That's on different. Their spare time. If it's a specific person that we know. <laughs> I'd There's like, a few specific up? people I can think of right now that if JC was lacking their lingerie photos, I'd be like, the F. What if they commented something like, yum? <gasps> that's Sorry? different. <laughs> okay, Ayla's that's photo? That's true. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be all over there. Same, that's I different. Care. If you say yum at an ass photo, Dude. That's, that's different. That's different. That's, different. that's, different. that's like disrespectful. That's different than just like liking it and moving on. That's yeah. going out of your way to comment something you were thinking. That's a different that's level. Different. That's next level, yeah. 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 That's, also, I don't know about all that. You know what I just realized? Instagram took away the, do you remember back in the day, it would say like so-and-so liked this photo, so-and-so, like just on a random page, they took that away. So I'm like, now if you find your guy, Liking a random girl's photo is just like fate. Like that's just like by chance. You just happen yeah. to be on this girl's or you're page. Yeah. Do you guys ever feel like, let's say Ayla, if I did like that photo and you know what I said, would you be like, that's fucking weird, Dave? If you liked her, her photo? photo? Yeah. No. I feel about? like I feel like all of you guys are like my good like my friends. I think like, with close I, I friends, consider it's you not guys weird. more like my friend. I don't consider you like just Kean's friends now. I consider you guys like my friends. So to oh. me, I'm like, oh you Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so if you guys liked my photos, I wouldn't feel weird about it. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he, if like Kian would feel weird. Sometimes I think to myself like, if one of you guys posts a, a revealing or provocative picture, I'm not even worried about me. I'm worried like, oh, it's like Kian or Crawford gonna think interesting. be weird. So it's clearly oh, you and I, Neza. That's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Like if Neza posts like a dope ass like music video shoot picture where she looks fucking on fire, I'm more thinking like, yo, is this okay? Like if I like it, is Crawford gonna be like upset? I'm just trying to support, but I don't know. Yeah, that's that's wh what I think. Oh yeah, would you be upset if, if Crawford was liking Grace's photos like that, David? If it was her ass, I'd probably be like, hey, Crawford, what'd you think? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think about this spark that one? What do you think? <laughs> and then Nezla, how would you feel? And then I'd be like, text him on the side. Hey, what, what, what if I was like, at Nezla? Nezla, like, what did you respond? <laughs> yeah, what did at, you respond? At Nezla, come get your boy. I'm <laughs> dying. That would be so funny. That'd be really funny, I think. Yeah, what if it was weeks after the post? Okay, Ooh. to be fair, on Instagram now, they'd be throw if you like follow the person, yeah. they'd be throwing photos up from like two weeks two ago, weeks ago. Yeah. to the top of the feed. Correct. So like, 
I, unless it was like 87 weeks ago. That's weird. <laughs> that, what? Red flag. Yeah, 86 is fine. 87, weird. Yeah. All right, does anybody want to change your answer? I feel like I'm like, could be over here because I feel like it depends on the situation. Okay. Like close friends, okay, whatever. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Okay, this, this one's a little toughy, but I got okayed by some of the girls to ask you guys this. I have worried about the appearance of my lady bits. I am worried. I have worried. I have. I have, I have wor been I have worried. worried. No, I have worried. I've worried oh. about the appearance you know what the of word my lady bits. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm scared. I don't know. What is so, this? So, the appearance of your, your vagina. Have okay. you worried about it? Have you ever worried yes. about it before intercourse? Or just worried well, about just it? Well, just in general. general. Or in general. If it be looking funky, go get it checked. <laughs> um, my personal reason is because this might sound really stupid, but I feel like growing up in like health classes, you're shown one vagina, right? It's like a diagram of a vagina or things of vaginas. And you're like, oh, is that what it's supposed to look like? And then you go home and you're like checking out yours and you're like, wait, some, something's different. <laughs> And you're like, I'm uncomfortable. Like, like, why does my vagina look like that? <laughs> oh, God. oh my God. Yeah. But as I get older, as I got older, I was like, oh, I now realize. And we all She's learned start, to appreciate it. She's no, like, you start to realize that like everyone's is different, but they don't tell you that in health class. It's like you think that's the perfect vagina. Yeah. I mean, that I'm, is my personal. I'm opinion. solely talking on like keeping it like. Groomed, <laughs> keeping it groomed, <laughs> keeping it clean. I'm just like I'm just in general. I'm a very clean person, so like I just like generally like like to be like clean. Right. Yeah. So Everyone like, has I, a different. I I care about. Everyone. We're like I care about, like like, I care about like, that. Like, Personally, I care no, yeah. about that. And again, that. I think I'm that's just, something that's how I girls am. don't know about until you start talking like yeah. your friends and stuff. And it's yeah. like. Yeah. As you get older, you, yeah. And it's like, keep it together. Yeah, it's, yeah like Everyone to each their own, though. Yeah, you know, like. What about, I, what about minus the hair? Just like physical appearance of it. I mean, you can't, oh, you I'm can't do That's what I'm saying about health class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, phys yeah, physical appearance, like, you can't, you can't, I can't I change. Can't do, I can't change what it looks like. Yeah, but the dino Do they still worry about that? Well, I was going to say, do I worry? Yeah, do you worry about it? Like, Nate, you're like, I don't know. I'm not worried about how it. Looks. Oh, I'm not like yeah. I'm not like worried about like how it looks. I don't. I'm not like, like now, you guys. I'm I'm very uh, happy you know. about her. But you guys, <laughs> I've always felt comfortable with it. Um, I also have come to early, well. I'm also really clean. Like I keep yeah. it clean, keep it groomed. Yeah. And I've come to a realization that guys also if they don't if, care. Yeah, guys don't care. So if yeah. that's ever a worry, or if it ever was a worry, guys don't. Yeah, you realize so, that more too, because they're like, eh, okay. unless y'all yeah, are and saying secrets that we don't know, right? Yeah. Behind our but, back. I, mean, I don't know. I've my girl's gotten... coochie looks like this. <laughs> I'm like, what are these secrets? Oh my god. I, I was know. gonna say like comfortability is like a like yeah. If you've always been super comfortable with it, I feel like growing up I wasn't. I it was like very foreign to me, and now I am super super comfortable with it. So yeah, I feel like that's also a factor as well. Little one. Little one. Which one? We're all little over here. We have little. Okay, anyway. Um. <laughs> I will always be doing something like this. I don't know. I've never, I guess I've never really like worried about it. Um, I can't remember like at what grade it was or whatever, but I remember a health teacher said like, look in the mirror and if you see this, you see this and you're good. And I remember looking in the mirror and being like, I'm good. I've never had a health class like that. Wow. No, me either. That's what I'm saying. My health class was like here. No, here no, my is. no, my health class never talked about sex. Never oh. talked about vaginas. Never. They talked about driving, in the rain. Wait, you like, never had in your sex health class? Ed? Yeah, we ever, we barely ever spoke. So about So driver's that. ed? Yeah, that's it. You never had sex ed in school. No, we never had sex. No, ed. me either. I never had sex ed. Well, it's weird if because if you things. think about it, like if you think about it, like. Imagine when, like when you were little or whatever, you never thought about your vagina. You're like, oh, what if it looks yeah. strange, whatever. But it's like, yeah, when you grow up, then it's like, I don't know, if you're like, if, some, if someone's looking at you, like, you have a weird vagina, like. <laughs> <laughs> then, you, then, then, you're gonna, then you're gonna, then you're gonna be so conscious about it, you know? You're like, spread, and you're like, what a weird vagina. Yeah, but I don't know, I just. Well, what about you, Tara? 
I feel really privileged to have some really good friends growing up where we all look different and we all were just like, okay, well, everyone's looks different and everyone should just be comfortable with what they have because that's what you were born with and you can't really do anything much, you can't do much about it, so might as well be comfortable with what you have. I never thought about, oh, my shit looks weird. Um, and I don't know, I just think everyone should be comfortable with what they have and I never thought about it that way. Maybe I will now. Maybe I'm gonna look and be like, this looks weird to me, but I never thought about it before because I feel like I grew up really comfortable around my friends and we all were like, oh, we all look different. That's okay. And that's that. That's and if, a very and if you're with answer. a guy or a girl that cares about what your coochie looks like, then that's, oh, that's a, a red flag. Yeah, yeah, that's a different story. story. So, yeah. We're all like, mm-mm, uh -uh. yeah. <laughs> no. We're so. like, mm -mm. It's a coochie, does all the same stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 a coochie. <laughs> What'd you just say? <laughs> what you it's said? Just right. No, don't. No, I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> Consent. Hey. Hi. Okay. Uh, does anybody want to change their answers? Cool. I'm okay with pushing the boundaries in the bedroom. This includes fetishes and kinks. I'm okay. Like, is this agree? Right? No. Agree. Disagree. Disagree. Oh. Express yourself. Sex is great, and you can be okay to be comfortable with it and tell him what you want, tell him what you don't want. Yeah, and if he Let likes stuff know. too, try it out. Right, every relationship's been different too. Like, it's been like so different. And it's, you get more comfortable with yourself yeah, and what you like and you don't like. Yes. And... So you're all down to try anything? Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, Any, okay, wait, 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 wait. Actually, wait. Yeah, I'm not. That I wasn't the question. No, no, that wait, wasn't the question. That wasn't the question. Yeah, but but it's. Like, you can try it, and if you don't if like it, if I don't it, like it, I'm not gonna. Yeah, try it. Yeah, try it. No, try everything once. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not gonna get beaten to where I'm bleeding and have bruises. Nuh uh. You're not no. beating me for okay. that. Oh, okay, okay. That's not pushing. Have you it. seen assault. porn? That shit happens. <laughs> Yeah, assaulting them? I would never yeah. date assaulting someone Assaulting is that's different that than that. Weird. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you would be attracted to someone that was I've into that. I've seen people on porn staple girls' boobs but to a table. But you just said, like, I'm not, we're not going to be attracted like, to someone like that. Like, you're not going to be attracted that. to someone that's, like... Have you ever seen like, that? I don't know what porn you watch, <laughs> but send me the link. <laughs> she said, staple their boobs. I, okay. I think I'm it's gonna okay. Say, I'm not going to do okay that. I think it's okay to push the boundary. You could talk to your significant other, be like, hey, if, you, if there's something that you really, really, really want to try, and, and, you know, be like, okay, like... Maybe I'd be down, maybe not, whatever. The, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, down for everything, but well, I think. Yeah, that, the question wasn't, are you down for everything? It's like, are you okay pushing, pushing the, boundaries? the boundaries? And I think that like, yeah. it is okay I to push boundaries. I think even having that conversation yeah. is push, yeah. pushing yes. the boundaries. Yeah, like, I mean, it just depends. Set boundaries if you need to be like, you ain't like, yeah, you, they ain't doing that. you ain't stable in my tits. Yeah, they yeah. you're not you making me bleed. <laughs> Yeah, they could say something to you and you'd be like, oh no, like, that's not for me. So like, I don't know, it just depends, but I think you should just communicate and be like, yeah, I want to do this, I want to try this. Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody want to change the answers like Franny? No. All right, let's get you guys in the middle. All right, guys, so um, what did you think about the experience? It was good. Yeah, it's fun. It was fun. I think it was good. I think we it's were funny. I feel like we have these conversations just like yeah. all the time. Like all, we'll just be sitting there and talk about stuff I like wonder. This. I wonder how it would have felt with like complete strangers. Oh but yeah, yeah. Really that would have been interesting. Yeah. I feel like we talk about stuff probably more. Like if you did this with the guys, I don't know if like they talk about this stuff, but I feel like we've like pretty been we've been open really about open. things. Yeah. So like we already kind of like our our answers. I feel like maybe don't even shock each other because we're like. Well, oh, and I for instance, that. like I like I know Tara obviously, but like I've never had conversations like that with her. So I like yeah. getting to see like how other people think. I think it's interesting to see people's opinions and you know what they think and what they like and what they don't like. And I think it's cool to just get to know somebody like that. How do you guys feel about, uh, do, do you guys like me and stuff? Oh, wait, what? Do we like, like you? you? Yeah. I don't mean like you. I don't know about it Do we go to strongly anymore. disagree or strongly agree? Yeah, yeah, which one? Oh, do you I'm, want us to go? Yeah. Can I go no, I'm just eat kidding. my chicken? Oh, right <laughs> Can I eat my chicken? No, I don't want the answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that's it, guys. You're good. Okay. Yay. Thank you.